Okay, so, welcome back. I completely missed a whole area without even noticing. I kept on trying to backtrack and I thought I got everything and I completely forgot. I skipped a boss fight because I my avoidant personality kicked in and I just completely forgot about it. Because I'm fucking stupid. Um, I wonder if the game is going to let me do it or if I really am too late. garden again. Oh god, I forgot. Uh, it's this way, I think. Okay. So, in the damn Consumed King's Garden, which I can't remember the whole structure of now. Oh, they're just chilling out. Having... to explore. Dang it, I should just uh, cash in my souls here while I have a chance. Uh, but I want to at least re-familiarize myself with the path. So, where's the damn contraption then? Is there a... Ah, there it is. Ah! <sighs> Carpeting. Man, I completely forgot about this area because I was so distracted by the rest of the horrors of this old castle. Alright, this is the one with the toxic swamp and shit. Oh. Yeah, and those guys. Oh wait, I have someone here. Who are you? Hawkwood. Okay. 
I'll take the help. Oh shit, I should have just used- oh fucking hell. Oh shit. Did I- I just committed myself, didn't I? Welp. I was hoping to maybe try to use the coiled sword. get to the boss fight. Square button. Why are you not doing? I hit the square button so many times and it was not doing it. God damn. That was terrible. Hawkwood the deserter.
Thank you, friend. And I'm glad I only had to do the boss on one try. <sighs> right, I think I got killed by it and never came back to it. That's why. Because there were so many other paths. And then... Let me do some things first. And... For the link. Very well. Then touch take nar. Oh my. Okay. I need. How much strength in order to wield the. Okay. Ashen Actually, one. I want to look at the soul I just got. Consumed Oeros. Oceros. Uh, Oceros went mad trying to harness his royal blood for greater purpose leading him to the heretics of the Grand Ar Archives, where he discovered the twisted worship of Sith, the Pale Drake. Uh, let's see what I can turn his shit into. Wee. Oop. Crystal Breath. Not bad. Light great sword. Ooh. Not bad. I shall take that one, I think. That's cool. Just need a little bit more smarts, huh? Okay, well, I could actually possibly manage that. Let's actually look at what these different swords require of me. Okay, I need 20 strength for that. And there's 26 intelligence for that. I think I shall. Look, I'm gonna fashion souls it until the very end. It's just how I roll. Whatever. Whatever. Then touch Look, take I'm just going to make things really cool, and then I will be done. So pretty. Look at that. Boom. So pretty. So. Let's continue a little bit. I'm kind of curious. needs. I have some things I can. Tight night scale. Oh boy. Ah. But I'm actually thinking about upgrading this. This neato sword. S word. Um, where are you? Ah, here we are. 
I have plenty of scale at this point. Boom, I have an insane Moonlight Greatsword now. Yay. Look at that shit. Um... You know what? Why not? I finally have an ultimate longsword. Pretty be careful. <laughs> oh, this makes me fat roll though. Oh well. It's for aesthetic, but while I still have to do some exploring, I shall equip my regular sword here. Although, let's see, how heavy is this other sword? It is nine. Wow, that is a quite heavy sword. Quite a heavy sword. Actually, I don't need this on anymore. I'll put on this friend. There we go. Oh, too heavy still. Oh well. Let's just continue. Boom. Let's travel to the Consumed King. I'm guessing there's another... Well, let's find out. Okay. Look, I'm just doing my Dark Souls do Due diligence. Oh wow, you're persistent. Okay. Still need to be on the lookout then. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, and they gave me another scale, that's cool. Oh god. How do I... oh. Oof. Okay, so if there was a whole area I missed. Huh. Oh, me. Well. I thought I saw something inside of here, but I guess not. Oh. This looks where I started. This is the starting area. 
the same. Huh. Except it's all dark. Souls. So that one probably recovers my SP better. Wow, all these wonderful items, and I was wondering where the equivalent of this one was. Once a treasure brought before Lothric's queen, she had it enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves so that one day an unkindled might profit from its use. Okay, by hiding it away behind a bunch of hidden walls. Okay. Hidden boss fights, hidden boss fights, necessary content for the ending I want. And there's a guy here. Okay. Oh, can't. Easy to target when you can't see things. Okay. Stop miming when you run out. Okay. Hmm, never been in this area before. So this will be fun. Um Right. Puppies! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me while I try to do target. I'm targeting you, please. Thank you. element. This sucks. Okay. Oh, stop miming. Okay, thank you. This area is not going well for me from the start. Oh nice, finally a chunk. I've been looking for those. Uh, they're gonna make me fight that fucking boss again, aren't they? 
And then I get to go to the... the Come on, puppies. Come on. Do your wild thing where you can't tell where you're going. Fine. There we go. Where's my certain death? Hmm. Oh god. <gasps> oh jeez. Oh gosh. Do I even want anything from here? Probably not. I don't see any items here. I don't really care. That's all this area is then. And then I have to go through this whole shit. Okay. Fun. And here it's just an abyss. I love it. Time and space, don't need to worry about how it works here. Just a literal repeat of the same reality forever. Let me ease your suffering here. You know, because I'm pretty sure someone was going to summon you to attack me if I didn't. Why not? not going very well. Could be going better. Oops. And I drank the wrong thing. And... Wee. Terrible time already. And I'm going to have to probably do this boss multiple times. Differences. Nice. Let's see. Let's see what to do. Hmm. Is that everything that way? Yes. Is that everyone here? No, there's still someone here. happening to my computer now. Oh! That's where he went. Okay. Okay. Hmm.
Well. Just trying to get to the damn boss. Yeah, I knew it. The ones that I don't kill will come after me. God damn it! I have the shield out, but I guess if I don't have it as. They're here. Swordmaster! <gasps> Killing you had a thing after all. I'm glad I murdered you. Oh no, I don't need you to do that, thank you. Master entering. Black Knight Glaive. Is there something that is. Do I have to use that to kill this guy? No, where's Black Knight Glaive? Enemy poise. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not gonna be able to use it anyway, so.
faster. Okay. So, no second form. Hooray. <sighs> Real quick though. Wait, where was I? So, I was at... Ah, screw it, I'll just do this now. Mm -hmm. And oh gosh, can it be? Is it gonna be the Firelink Shrine like this? everything else that's been up this far? Probably. I mean, it kinda... Kind of already told me what was going to be up with that by kind of showing me all that other stuff here. <gasps> oh god, there's so many of them. Oh boy. Hi, friend. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get a bunch of stuff. Oh my god. Oops, I forgot to refill my Estus. Oop. Gotta get away from him. Baja blast and then run. Gotta juice and run. That is my strategy here. And oops, oh, not jump past him. Uh, reduce, and then... I... What the heck is happening there? Nope, okay, not in cool there. Never know. Problem, I know it. You are very fast, too. Thank you for letting me do that. <sighs> God, how many more of those guys are going to be inside there?
see that a lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs, but remember. Fires are known to fit in quiet. Orb captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> Ooh. It's my souls and I'll spend them if I want to, spend if I want to. To skirt the charity's orb like the <laughs> best. This has always been suspicious to me. never anything back here. Okay, so there's nothing here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This was the item I thought I got. What I had was the soul of the firekeeper, so that was my bad. I completely... A pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. It reveals to the sightless firekeepers things that they should never see. Well. Well. I'm about to do some things whole world so he's he's left Carla's Carla and the uh, Carla patches and uh, Andre are pretty much the only characters left they have all oh Apollo's ashes oh boy Here, a soldier somewhere. I'm sure they're all around here, but I got my main objective here done. <laughs> oh, will I not be allowed to use this, right? Yeah, it's shut off, so this is it.
explore. It's just this little ridge here. It probably has at least another soldier. Oh. So I'll press fall on night. That's it. Oh boy. Okay. I think I have done all I needed to do here. And I bought some cool armor I'll never use, but I thought it was neat looking. All fashion souls. And then we'll have finality. Nice. That is pretty, pretty cool looking, except a little bit too tattered, but not bad. But still. But I do want to see what's in the. I'll look them up the info real quick. But let's get my regular outfit back on. Black Knight. see. Night tainted by the dark of the abyss, a vanquished knight left behind only wolf's blood and his legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear this torch, and the armor of these abyss watchers suggests their own eventual end. Mm. Mm. Interesting. And then finally... of a hollow who faithfully served a woman only to become separated from her. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. It takes but a brief glance at this thing to easily envision Londor, the foreboding land of hollows. Oh, I see. So the Cemetery of Ash is... Okay, it's in the same... That's... Okay. Hmm. Well, at least these optional bosses didn't take me nearly as much time as I thought they were going to. Um, let me give her the ashes. Oh, how many? Gracious, let this. I only hope these new. <laughs> okay, let's see what becomes available from her. Slabs, but not chunks. I have everything I need except I don't need slabs. I need chunks. Oh well. Oh well, I must have missed some ashes somewhere. What else did 
so what? Did she get any cool armor? Oh, Firelink Helm. Interesting. Helm of the Soul of Cinder, a deific manifestation of the Lords of Cinder who first who linked the first flame. It resembles a knight's helm, but bears hideous burns and contortions. A misshapen crown can be seen upon its rear. It exists as a symbol of the great lords in the noble act of linking the fire, though it is no more than an empty husk. Firelink armor. Oh, I see. Taking the shape of a deathly ribcage. Helm. Lorian, raised as a knight, is said to have been left mute and crippled by his younger brother's curse. It is also said that Lorian, in fact, wished it so. Yeah, that's pretty heavy armor. Oh boy, look at all the possible fashion souls. Oh! You can look, I can look, oh! Look at this. Snazzy. Alright, I can sell stuff too if I want. Oh yeah, I, sh I forgot. I have like that many, huh? Oh, and I have to... I can transpose some of those souls, so I'll do that. As well. Ashen one. Oh. Let's see. I'm kind of curious about that 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 snazzy top I got. Oh, well, that's new. Oh, I did get Lothric's stuff. Oh wow, high curse damage output, but. Oh, look at that. I'm going to look really nice when I, uh, when I choose to condemn the world to a, to a dark blackness that, from which, uh, looking gauntlets. Oh yeah, this is a look. Oh yeah. That is a look. Um, oh, I want to go transpose. See what I can get from that guy's soul. Let's see. What do I get from him? Gundir's halberd. Halberd of Gundir the Champion, received when he was charged with his duty. This old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble, seeming to suggest that Gundir was fated to eternal service from the beginning. 500 durability, of course. Um, what else does Gundir give you? Prisoner's Chain. What is it? Is it a ring? Okay. Increases vigor, endurance, and vitality, but take more damage. I don't really get the point of that. So I guess I'll just take the halberd that I would never be able to equip. Yay! And I'll just take, I don't know, the Great Axe, because why not? There we go. I've transposed all my boss souls. 
Goodbye. Boom. Okay. Now to do the deed. Ashen one. Link the fire for the Lords of Cinder. Link the fur. Okay. Yes. Ashen one. Are these? Yes, they are. Are these eyes? Yes. No, they're peeled grapes. How gracious of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou's given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire. And I will blindly tend to the flame until the day of thy grand betrayal. Ashen One, the eyes show a world without fire, a vast stretch of darkness. But tis different to what is seen when stripped of vision. In the far distance, I sense the presence of tiny flames, like precious embers, left to us by past lords, linkers of the fire. Could this be what draws me to this strangely enticing darkness? Ashen one, if thine heart should bend, kill me, and strip these eyes from my person. I will return as the firekeeper I once was. As it has always been. Ashen one, if killed, I was it as Okay. Mayst thou thy peace discover. Okay. That's it. We're at the end. That's fine. This is for decoration. Okay, this is it. With this, I'll have beaten Dark Souls 3 at like. 2.30 in the morning. I'll be able to go to bed with sweet dreams. myself all nice and dressed up. Look at this. Oh, composition here. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. I want to take a look at the flowers real quick though. Let's see. Let's see. Five petals. Kind of like, huh, I wonder what kind of flowers these are supposed to be modeled after. Hmm. Oh, this is the base of that giant tree that snapped off. Okay, I get it, and that's why these are...
her actual physical body and not the spirit form. And this is it, we're putting an end to the whole thing. No more fire for now. Until the next cycle, it needed to be done. fades. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Mm -hmm. like embers linked by Lord's past. Ashen One. Hearest thou my voice still? Mm -hmm. So I finally completed Dark Souls 3. I got it when it first came out, played it a little for a cer to a certain degree. I think I I think I stopped God, m not I didn't get very far um honestly when I first played it, and so I put it away and then finally decided to pick it up again um and finish it off. I'm really glad I did. It really captured me in that I really, it made me want to defeat it. <laughs> sometimes out of spite, sometimes out of uh, stubbornness. I wish there was, I mean, I understand the minimalism is like a big aspect of this kind of thing, but I wouldn't have minded if the NPCs like around the the fire, you know, shrine had more to say after you did certain things. You know, it would kind of give you a little bit of a reward for kind of defeating a big boss or something, and so they can kind of maybe comment on it or something like that. Just to give you a few extra, just a little details and how some of these characters feel about certain things. You know, maybe give you kind of like details about like what their homelands were a bit more like, because it's kind of curious about how these, you know, cultures kind of come about that you, you know, get hints of. But you kind of wonder, you know, what it's like for these characters to come through and kind of like how they feel about, you know, the development of things. Because, like, I liked, it, I know, again, Bloodborne I haven't finished either, which is, uh, I may, uh, I may use this as an impetus to finally go and play Bloodborne. Uh, I mean, finish Bloodborne. I got to a certain point and then I just never finished it just like this um so but i liked about that one where the characters you were starting to send to the chapel and things like that you know their stuff changed as you were going along you know you'd get kind of commentary on that so i think like i kind of liked how those were a bit more developed there um since i have not personally finished playing you know i've never fully completed dark souls one or two i'm probably missing out on a few things although i do 
recognize certain things from having played through a decent chunk of Dark Souls 1 and having watched like uh, roommates and friends and other people play Dark Souls so I kind of have a decent amount in my head but it doesn't always you know connect so I could recognize certain things um, or the in this case the absence of certain things uh, you know, such as the uh, the giant illusion of the lady, you know, that the sun ring, the, well, where I got the sun ring, you know, she's no longer there because, well, she was apparently, you know, uh, her, or at least one of her kids got devoured by uh, Aldrich. So, art design in this game I really think was great. Um, just overall, like, that's really hard not to uh, just give it to them right off the bat. Um, tone, of course, is something like the atmosphere of this game is absolutely, you know, amazing. I, I think I just really, you know, it's one of those ones that makes me want more, you know, like I really wish there was just a bit more meat on the bones in terms of just, you know, text and character, I guess, but that's, that's just my personality and kind of what I like, is I like the psychological aspects of things. Um, this is a bit more, um, I guess I would say philosophical, if that makes any sense, um, than it is. It's it's very much like the uh, the Mega Ten series, and that, that, that one's dealing, or at least the initial Mega Ten series, where it was not very character-based and was dealing much more with philosophical ideas, um, or ethical ideas than anything else. Uh, so it kind of feels like it's in that kind of school of storytelling. I do like that it has a very um, <laughs> dark sense of humor when it does, but it's not like, you know, wacky or trying to be quirky. It, it, it does have, you know, much like its namesake, a, a pitch black dark sensibility, even when it does its humor. Um, so, I mean, so despite the absence of things, I, I do think this is like a very well put together game. Uh, there's certain aspects I do find very frustrating. Uh, I do hate that certain aspects are not consistently applied in terms of effects, um, like especially like trying to navigate how to repel the fire thing in that one dungeon. Although I might have uh, mistaken the fact that I was getting damaged by the lava floor, but not, what's the word for it, uh, poise broken, so I could have probably drank, you know, my, my juice while I was just running through that, but that was just, you know, even with all the best possible anti-fire stuff, that was still impossible, so I was like, ugh, and then the shield trick only working in one room but not another, or then only facing a certain direction whatever that was weird you know certain things just being a little bit too obtuse but I think perhaps a lot of that stuff was too obtuse for me because there I don't have that PlayStation Plus account so there's a lot of aspects I think to this game that were you know hidden to me because it's relying on the idea that oh well kind of other players are interacting in this world and leaving these messages you know it kind of does change the flavor of the game and like a weird, you know, adding a more multiverse thing almost narratively on top of it, um, was, whereas if you're playing solo, it is a very empty world where it's like, okay, yeah, everybody else has already given up. It's just you, you know, like you are the last one that is still trying. Everybody else has finally given up. There is no even remains of them. Like you are like, however long this whole apocalypse has been going on, it's been going on for a while before you finally woke up. So, I like that aspect. Like, it's kind of different. Versus online, you can kind of get the idea that there's, you know. So, I am going to, I don't want to begin Journey 2, so I'm going to hit no. Because, if I do someday want to do the DLC, um, maybe. But, I think I got what I wanted out of this overall in terms of just getting, you know, in story. So, with that, I am going to quit the game and sign off. So, thank you all for 
joining me on this journey. Uh, I appreciate uh, sticking with it and seeing it through to the end as I struggled against myself and this game. So, see you in hopefully another playthrough. Uh, I haven't quite decided the next one yet, but we'll see. So, either way, sleep well when you do, and good luck with everything. <laughs>